matters little whether Jesus was born at Nazareth or Bethlehem. It is of consequence, however, that he was born in a stable and cradled in a manger. This fact of itself, about which there is no question, certifies conclusively the proletarian character of Jesus Christ. He has been disfigured and distorted by cunning priests to serve their knavish ends, and by ignorant idolaters to give godly sanction to their blind bigotry and savage superstition. He was of the working class and loyal to it, in every drop of his hot blood to the very hour of his death. I speak not of you all, I know whom I have chosen, was his class conscious announcement to his disciples, all of whom were of the proletariat, not an exploiter or desirable citizen among them. Pure communism was the economic and social gospel preached by Jesus Christ, and every act and utterance which may properly be ascribed to him conclusively affirms it. Private property was to his elevated mind and exalted soul a sacrilege and a horror, an insult to God and a crime against man. Under his leadership and teaching, all his disciples sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man had need, and that they had all things in common. This was the beginning of the mighty movement Jesus had launched for the overthrow of the empire of the Caesars, and the emancipation of the crushed and miserable masses from the bestial misrule of the Roman tyrants. It was, above all, a working class movement, and was conceived and brought forth for no other purpose than to destroy class rule and set up the common people as the sole and rightful inheritors of the earth.